Oh, if you didn't already have mech, you could take it now. Was there anything behind this moving sphere? I think not. If there's one thing I can appreciate, it's purple skies. <laughs> Especially when paired with rainbow crystals. It's a nice winning combination. Uh, death pit underneath these blocks. This is very Mario World 8-esque. Yeah, a lot of the modern Mario games in 2D have the meteor destroying the map stage in World 8. And Kirby went with the letter. <laughs> hmm. Feels like I'm missing something already, but let's just keep going. Need to get down there. Hey, way down there. Not enough room for my arcing shot. The shots to work. It's okay, I can do that. Oh, there's actually platforms down here. I was just gonna use my jetpack. Uh, yep, that's the first one. And there is death down there. Oh my god. I swear I hit the button before I landed. Was there anything of note on the ceiling? Could seem not. God. I think I might actually want the ice. I forget why, but I think I want it. Never mind, I should have just taken the mecha, because I'm going to steal this guy's spark anyway. Ooh, food. Not every day the boss feeds you. Needle if you want it. Oh, I was hoping to get him with the old slide the enemy into the boss trick. Back up, but Give me that mech.
That's about how that should have gone. So with the moving platform, you want to be sure not to drop the goodies into the bottomless pit. Ah, uh, more certain death. They really want me to have the option to use Parasol. And Mech. They really want me to have the option to use Mech. That ham should be nice and toasty. So should that one up. Oh my god. Waiting up here if you want more Agile Flying. There's got to be something behind one of these spheres. I just can't remember which. There it is. Time to go for a stroll. I'm gonna try that again. <laughs> but, um, psst. this shoe is very squeaky. You know, I was really hoping I could just clear the Gordo and move a little faster. Okay, I gotta stop trying to clear the Gordo. Probably not. Right, my internal temperature is already pretty warm. Wait, if you hold the X button, you can assign another item to your item slot at will? Up to 30 times per item? I did that by accident because I held the X button to get out of the shoe. I'm, they probably told me. But that holding Y would get out of the shoe, because that's dropping a copy ability, and I just didn't hit Y. <laughs> Alright, well, if you're playing Magoland, you have no excuse to die to loss of health. Actually, I'll take up this bird on its generous offer. Thought I saw something glowing blue in this corner. Time for band class. Hmm. 
Have I ever had to take a key through one of these doors before? Oh, and the scarf is going to be chasing me for it the whole time. On top of the other hazards that World 7 has. Oh god, giant eel. I wasn't sure I could clear that jump. I thought I might have to throw the key at him. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, but since they set it up so you get the key in a different room, there's no retry. Unless you start the stage over. Many bosses shall be put to shame. <clears throat> I cleave rock. I cleave steel. I cleave crystal. I don't think so. I cleave lava. And you guys just happen to be there. Mmm, brownies. Yeah, well, if the lava wants to break stuff for me, then that's fine. Just kind of make some steam. Doesn't form any rocks or anything. And again, I guess it is a rock. It's just a really hot rock. Don't even give you ground to stand on if you wait too long. Okay, well, I would say the difficulty was a little all over the place. Like, this wasn't the hardest one of these gauntlets. There were harder ones, there were easier ones. You can get a guaranteed water. You can take another nap.
And so I think these third abilities have been added for deluxe because the first one was sand, which wasn't in the original. Then it was mecha, which wasn't in the original. And then there was no third ability introduced. So they just give you a random one here, which mirrors this item from Magoland, which will give you a random ability. I got mecha for the random ability. <laughs> I'm going to take water. Oh no, two of them! That was anticlimactic. For your final interdimensional challenge, you must fight two at the same time. But also they're reverted back to like the basic Doomer status. I'll take that. Shooting stars. If I use my festival right now, I could kill those four little mooks at the bottom. Okay, so I swear, that uh, walking inside of the moon secret that's in every Kirby game, I remember that being in World 5 somewhere. And maybe there still was one in World 5 that I missed. But no, they actually put one inside of a lava rock in this world. Which I guess is a moon. It's a very hot one. Both moons and volcanoes have craters. What do you think? Am I misremembering World 5 or is there actually a moon in World 5? Because I, I thought it was on that tower level at the very end. Where you fight all the mini bosses. Anyway, the final challenge is the item challenge. No copy ability, just items. Hey, sure, that's fine, and like it's it's certainly something you can find if you're just hovering around the exit like normal. All right, I am the Metal General, leader of the festival. If you would like an ability for this fight, they will offer you Sand, Wing, Leaf, Cutter, Bomb, and Ninja. Lots of options here. I'm gonna regret this, but let's just go in with Festival. It won't be a one-hit kill on a boss, mind you, but... We can set it off and then do it the fight as a regular old Kirby. I do remember that when I played the Wii one, I took full advantage of that leaf because it was was and still is one of my favorite abilities in this game.
Roar. Alright. It's a dragon. It's shooting fire. How unprecedented. Swoop. Wind damage. All right. Now that we've seen some of its attacks, let's throw in a party. Now we can see how much of its health that did. <laughs> You know, it's kind of ironic to fight the dragon this way because it's spewing stuff at us and I'm spewing stuff at it. It's like a mirror match. But Kirby will be the better dragon. Although he doesn't know Tail Whip. If you are a Pokemon trainer and you have a dragon type Pokemon and you've taught it Tail Whip, then my question is, could you really not think of a better move for that slot? Okay, well, not in this particular run he's not, but in Deluxe you can play as four Kirby's, unlike the original. This guy is like the master of elements. He's got the fire, the air, the electricity. Oh, let's read that arc. Do you think the other three heads ever get jealous of the one wearing the crown? Do you think they take turns? Magoland trained me for this. I'm just in the middle of a bomb rally. <laughs> I played that many game plenty of times. Aerial maneuvers. Meow. I went. I remember that fight being much harder in the original. Even with a copy ability. But I guess I just got better. We defeated the dragon. We helped our friend. Yay. Bravo, Kirby. You've truly earned your reputation as a hero. Your help defeating Landy, I was invaluable. Ah, at long last, it's mine. The source of limitless power, the Master Crown. Obtaining this crown has been my ultimate goal all along. What's with the weird looks? Fine, let me explain everything. Also gotta love the font shift for his transformation. I fought Landia by myself and lost, so I fled to Popstar. That's when the thought struck me. I could have you defeat Landia for me. A stroke of genius, I know. You even helped me repair my star cutter. I really did appreciate that, by the way. Anyway, <laughs> the time has come for your planet. No, the time has come for the entire universe to bow down to me. And for being such a big help in all of this, your planet gets to go first. 
Prepare to bow, pop star. Welcome your new overlord. Well, this isn't a puzzle, so my statement still stands. Oh, he's gonna eat me, and I don't blame him because we screwed everything up. Oh, he's just putting me on his back. Hey, you, you're gonna fix what you messed up. And I'm gonna take you there. Also, DDD had the best face for that reveal. 